Yellow. So today I'm going to be talking about ADHD and frustration. Um, big topic. A lot of the symptoms of ADHD can be so tiresome and so debilitating that they just drive you insane. The lack of focus, the inability to use your working memory to its full capacity or any capacity at all and kind of the constant fear of rejection that comes along with ADHD can seem to make you turn against yourself and blame yourself for certain things that have gone wrong um, and that is a huge cause of frustration for me especially. So in today's video I just wanted to go over a few different scenarios that happen to um, cause me to get really frustrated with my ADHD. So the first one is um, having a real lack of focus. So this plays out, especially if I'm having to listen and or repeat instructions at work, for instance, um, especially when I know that they have to be followed to the T exactly. I won't be able to take them in all at the same time. I just can't listen to what someone's saying and then regurgitate that information. It just doesn't work. This then makes me get really anxious as well because I feel like I can't do my job properly um, just purely for the fact that it seems as though I don't have enough brain capacity to take in what the other person is saying. The second one is the fear of rejection that I mentioned earlier. So this gets me really frustrated because it often feels as though I can't fully express my thoughts, feelings um, because of the fear of what someone else might think about them. I'm then worried about the knock-on effects of what that person might have thought about what I've said or um, how I've acted. The constant kind of bombardment of thoughts that comes um, comes along with ADHD does mean that I'm quite a creative person. Um, but the thought of uh, being judged negatively or rejected means that a lot of these ideas go completely unfulfilled and wasted. And that then leads to real long-term frustration because of the um, because of the suppression of who I am, how I feel, what I think. Um, yeah, that's a big one. The next one is making careless mistakes, and this is a massive one for me, probably one of the biggest. So careless mistakes seem to be really avoidable for most sort of neurotypical or um, people without ADHD just by employing a bit of a bit extra care and attention to whatever it is they're doing. But for me, um, even if I check like a hundred times, I still might not see the mistake that I've made because my brain is elsewhere. It's probably on like what I've got for dinner or what I'm doing tomorrow. And I just won't see the mistake there. If the mistakes that I've made were on a test or um, an exam, for example, in school, I might have looked over the test 25 times and I couldn't see the problem. But then when I get the results back afterwards, I'll look at it and think, I knew that answer. I knew exactly what I was putting down and that was it. Yet because my brain was elsewhere focused on something else, I've written one part of it wrong. I mentioned this in a previous video as well, but that is, it's just something that drives me so nuts because it's so avoidable if you don't have ADHD. The last little one that gets an honorable mention is losing your trail of thought, which happens to me day in, day out, every minute of every day. I'm on a constant battle to remember what I'm saying. Um, making these videos especially, I write down little cues of what I want to say in these videos. And when I look back at them to actually say what I want to say, most of the time I forget the thought that the sort of thought trail that I was on when I wrote the thing and they make zero sense to me whatsoever. So I've written down a certain sort of cue and I'll think, what the fuck is that even there for? What does that relate to? It makes no sense. And ADHD has to be a culprit for that because my working memory is just non-existent. And in quite long conversations with people, it's so difficult to follow on if I've started a conversation or started a topic that I want to talk about if I start talking about that thing or telling a story is a big one um, I'll forget after two seconds where the story was going what I was going to say who it was about and I'll end up just 
completely frozen in no man's land. So that is a kick in the nutsack. That is all for today's little video on ADHD and frustration. Um, any tips on how to deal with ADHD frustration are very, very welcome. I wish I was coming on here to share some tips that I've got, but unfortunately I'm not. Uh, frustration is, yeah, like I said, one of the biggest things that I seem to deal with. Um, I get so irritated with myself for saying the wrong thing or not being able to remember what I was gonna say. So if you do have any ways of coping with it, um, you can email them through or leave them in a YouTube comment. Um, like I said before, I have opened an email, ollieedquestions at gmail.com. So you can send anything through if you've got any questions. Like I said, um, email them through there and it's a bit easier to answer properly on there. But yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Ciao, everyone.